Well, good morning, Taff, or good afternoon or good evening, depending on when you're watching this. Most of you know, come Friday at 5 p.m., North Carolina will be entering phase two of its response to the COVID-19 pandemic. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about what does that mean for us at TAF. And quite frankly, what that means for us is it means nothing. Because unlike pre previous responses, phase two, religious organizations, religious services are exempt from phase two. So what does that mean for us? That means we could meet this weekend. But just because we could doesn't mean we should. For those of you that, that know or don't know, I'm an attorney by day, and back when all this started, back when the restrictions started to be done, if you talked to me, you likely heard me say that what the governor was doing and telling churches when they could or couldn't meet was actually unconstitutional. Courts have now agreed and said it's unconstitutional. I'm not doing this to try to bash the governor. Quite frankly, I agreed with what he was trying to do. He just didn't have the authority to do it. We needed to stay at home. If churches would have continued to meet, people would have gotten sick, people would have died. So I applaud the governor for doing what he was trying to do, what he was trying to accomplish. And with that said, just because we can meet doesn't mean we should meet. Last week, I sent out a survey, and, and a large portion of you filled out that survey, so thank you for that. And it was about how we should go forward, seeing the writing on the wall that we would likely be able to meet in the near future. And the majority of you said, just because the government says we can meet, doesn't mean we should. You wanted us to take it slow. You wanted us to be cautious. You wanted us to continue our online services and really only online services because the most important thing to us as the leadership of TAF is you, the members of TAF and those who may not be members yet but have a relationship with us. Your health, your safety is paramount. So we will not be meeting this weekend. We, I don't really know when we'll be meeting. We'll be taking it kind of week by week. But as soon as we feel it's safe to have in-person worship services again, we will. And we'll let you know. And, and again, part of it is we want to make sure that everyone is safe. We, we don't want any of you to get sick. We know that COVID-19 has hit our church membership. And we're concerned about your safety. So just again, to let you know, to give you an update, we won't be meeting in person this weekend. We'll continue to meet online in the foreseeable future until we feel it's safe for all of us to be back together again. But even when we do that, we will continue to be online as well because there are those of you who may feel more comfortable watching online than coming in person. So again, thank you for all that you're doing. We look forward to worship with, worshiping with you online this weekend. Stay safe, stay healthy, and keep washing your hands. See you soon, Tav. Have a great day.